All right, welcome everybody. Uh, we're gonna build a new computer today. It's been about two or three years since I built one before. Uh, I do a lot of video editing. I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, used to use 1080p video all the time. Now it's all 4K. So I need more juice and more power. So I did a little research over the last several months and I came up with these components. Uh, so we're gonna talk a little bit about each one of these components and what stands out for me and why it's gonna help me video editing in 4K. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and build this thing and uh, show you guys how this stuff goes together. If you've ever, never seen it before, you can see how it goes together and um, hopefully it'll help you out and make a decision in building your supercomputer or even a standard computer. Anyway, let's get into this. Uh, we have up here two 850 Evo one terabyte drives. Okay, these drives uh, are going to be the data drive for the for the video when I'm editing the video. Um, I don't have on this table right now, but I'm going to put a 500k. Uh, I'm sorry, 500 gigabyte uh, 850 Evo for the for the boot drive for the operating system, and these two one terabytes are going to be in a RAID zero for the data. Okay, it's going to be uh, for the data, and I'm going to have uh, two. Uh, uh, Western Digital Black four terabyte drives for uh, for archiving the data once we get done with the video editing and stuff and, that. and I also have a NAS in the house uh, an Asus store NAS that I use that will be a secondary backup along with the cloud so anyway those are the drives this thing little baby here is the is the uh, Intel i7 core 5960 X this is uh, one of the fastest you can get now without going to Xeon. Uh, this is a eight core processor. That's what I really want, eight cores. And Adobe Premiere will use all these cores. So hopefully we'll see a lot of uh, speed out of this. I do have another computer that I built about three years ago. I put it on YouTube. Uh, I don't know what the specs are, but you can go back in the, in the further in the YouTube channel. Maybe I'll put a link to this in, in, the, in the show notes. Um, so you can go back and look at that. And see how much, how far I'm upgrading to. So, anyway, that was just, that's the processor. Uh, we're gonna go with this Titan. This is a Titan X. This is an NVIDIA card. Uh, the main reason I picked this card is I don't want to go with SLI because Adobe doesn't like S SLI. So as you can see right here, 12 gigabytes, baby, 12 gigabytes of memory. It's one of the fastest cards out. One of the most expensive cards out. Uh, so I might be able to do a little gaming also on the computer. I don't really game on the computer too much, but except for Fallout 4, I, I bought that for 4K, I have a 4K monitor. Uh, so this should be able to push those pixels quite well. So that's our video card. Uh, power supply, gotta have a nice power supply. So this is, I uh, did a lot of research. There's so many power supplies out there that you can pick from, there's just, there's just so many. This one here is a 1300 watt. I want to make sure I have plenty of power. Every time I build a new computer, I go up in, in wattage. So, last one was 1000. Now we're going to go 1300. Uh, this got gold ratings in multiple sites. Um, when you spend a lot of money for parts and build a custom computer, it's very important. One of the most important pieces besides the motherboard is this power supply. You want to have clean power. You want to have a reliable power supply to power all these components. So, it means everything for the lifetime of, that, of, of, of the computer itself and all the components in it. So that's the power supply. To cool this processor, we're gonna go for water cool this time. Get the Kraken X61. It's a fully self-contained uh, water cool device. Uh, I'm gonna get away from the fans for the first time. Never did water cool before, but this has phenomenal ratings online. And also this is a variable speed pump on this thing. Uh, something they, uh, they did for the first time uh, this one here, was, but uh, nothing but phenomenal ratings on this thing. So we're gonna go with this water cooler. Motherboard, let's do this motherboard here. We got Asus motherboard. I really like gigabyte motherboards. The last several builds have been gigabyte, but they just don't have what I need. I, I wanna go with uh, more memory uh, on the X99 and, and they this, and 3.1 and they don't have 3.1 right now. I couldn't find anything reliable that would fit the need. So I went with this Asus X99 Deluxe uh, with the 3.1 external card in this thing. So this is, uh, again, 
nothing but rave reviews for this thing. I used to build Asus computers with Asus motherboards in them. I stopped with the last two, maybe three computers and went to Gigabyte. Very satisfied. But I'm going to go back with Asus now and hopefully this won't lead me down. Hopefully this will do the job. So it's got a lot of extras. It's the deluxe version. It's overclock city. I mean, it's, it's, it's the one. Hopefully that's going to do a good job for me. So, and then that, and then the reason I wanted to, Gigabyte didn't have, what they didn't have is, I want to go, I have 32 gigs of memory now. I want, I want to go to 64, 128, but I decided to go to 64. And so I'm going to put this baby on the motherboard. This motherboard has, it has uh, eight slots for the memory. And I got a kit here, 64 gigabyte kit, Corsair Dominator kit uh, with with their, uh, their own um, LED fans for the airflow. Uh, comes right with this kit. So we got eight pieces here, 64 gigabytes, very fast. This should be fantastically fast when I started in this 4K. Can't wait to get this baby built. So anyway, that's the stuff we got. Uh, oh, we also got to throw away here. I got I decided to buy some hue, hue lighting for this thing. Uh, I might not even put it in the computer. I might put it on the on the uh, on the desk. Uh, it's it, it, the, the color varies in this thing, so it's a pretty good just just a novelty. Really, it's all it's for. So, all right, I like big cases. So, here we go with the big case. This baby here is an Antec S10. This is amazing amount of chambers in here. High quality case, full tower, uh, as big as the Cosmos. Uh, was the case I used the last one. This is just as much your space in this case. I mean, it's got a separate area for hard drives, which I really liked for airflow. So this is, it's a big one. So, but the first thing I'm going to do when I when I put this case together is I'm going to put I got all new fans for the case. I got these fans for um, these are Bit Phoenix fans, the LED fans. But the, what's nice about these fans is they have the very silent operation. So these are highly rated. Hopefully they won't do, do they'll do a good job for me. Uh, we're gonna replace all the fans, including the water cool. gonna get, these are 140 millimeter fans, two of those. And the case has six other fans on it, uh, 120 millimeter fans. So we're gonna replace all the fans, the first thing we're gonna do on this thing, so, and get everything rolling.